Hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that carries and helps transport oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the organs and tissues of the body, which makes its role extremely important for human survival. Some people naturally have low hemoglobin counts, which unfortunately can affect how you feel and negatively impact the functionality of your body systems. With that said, there are a few techniques that have been shown to increase hemoglobin levels and that is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. Be sure to watch until the end because there's one that I think will surprise you. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. But the first way to increase your hemoglobin count is to eat foods that are high in iron. Iron and a protein known as transferrin play a key role in the creation of red blood cells within the body. This explains why those with iron deficiency anemia tend to have a low hemoglobin count. Therefore, in order to increase the amount of iron in the body, you can try to add more iron-rich foods to your diet. Some examples include broccoli, kale, spinach, cabbage, beef, beans, lentils, and shellfish. You can also try to eat more foods that are high in folate. Folate is a type B vitamin that the body uses to produce more hemoglobin within the blood. Without this critical vitamin, your red blood cells will not be able to develop and mature as they normally would. This is why eating more foods that are high in folate is an easy and effective way to increase your hemoglobin count. Some examples include spinach, lettuce, avocado, beans, peanuts, and beef. Maybe you're a picky eater and just don't like any of the foods that we mentioned that are high in iron and folate. In this case, you can consider taking an iron supplement. Before doing so, please speak with your doctor first because they will know more about your individual medical condition. With that said, as previously mentioned, having an iron deficiency is one of the leading causes of a low hemoglobin count. This is why taking an iron supplement is one of the easier ways to boost the amount within your system. But as I said, it's important to work with your doctor to figure out what dose is appropriate for your individual needs. Because having too much iron results in a condition known as hemochromatosis, which can lead to liver disease and other side effects. Moving right along, if you truly want to increase your hemoglobin count, then you need to maximize iron absorption. We've already established that it's important to increase your iron intake because it's directly correlated with hemoglobin production. With that said, once iron has been consumed, it needs to be absorbed rather than being flushed back out of the body and wasted away. One effective way to maximize iron absorption is to make sure that your body is getting plenty of vitamin C. Eating more citrus fruits and leafy green vegetables is an easy way to keep your vitamin C levels where they need to be. You can consider adding a vitamin C supplement to your regimen as well. Alternatively, vitamin A and beta carotene have been found to help the body absorb more iron as well. Some foods that are high in vitamin A include kale, spinach, fish, liver, squash, and sweet potatoes. Some foods that are high in beta carotene include carrots, squash, mangoes, cantaloupes, and again, sweet potatoes. So now that we've mentioned some foods that are iron enhancers that work to increase the absorption of iron within the body, that leads to the next method on our list, which is to avoid iron blockers. An iron blocker is a type of nutrient that decreases iron absorption within the body. This is the opposite of what we're striving for in those with an iron deficiency. This is also true for individuals who want to increase their hemoglobin count. Some examples of iron blockers include calcium, phytates, and oxalates. This includes eggs, milk, dairy products, soybeans, seeds, and many of the most popular types of herbal teas. Coffee, soda, and alcoholic beverages are known iron blockers as well. Moving right along, a lesser known way of potentially increasing hemoglobin is to drink nettle leaf tea. I already mentioned that many of the herbal teas 
actually block iron absorption. Thankfully, nettle leaf tea is not included. The nettle leaf comes from an herb that has been used in traditional medicine in many cultures around the world. Researchers found that this herb is actually a rich source of iron, which is why drinking nettle leaf tea can potentially increase your hemoglobin count. Because as previously mentioned, our body relies on iron in order for hemoglobin to be produced. I'll drop links to some of our favorite nettle leaf tea products down below in the description. So just to give a quick recap, some effective ways that can increase your hemoglobin count include eating more foods that are high in iron and folate, taking iron supplements, maximizing iron absorption, avoiding iron blockers, and drinking nettle leaf tea. Another way to avoid a low hemoglobin count is to be able to recognize and avoid the most common causes. Some examples include blood loss, kidney disease, liver disease, hypothyroidism, lung disease, and sickle cell anemia. Some of these are out of your control, however many of the most common causes are related to poor lifestyle choices. At times we could all do a better job of eating a healthy diet, getting adequate sleep, exercising regularly, and avoiding bad habits such as excessive smoking. There are several variables that come into play in regard to increasing your hemoglobin count through dietary changes and supplements. Again, this is why it's important to work closely with your doctor before making changes to your supplement regimen, diet, or daily routine. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Millions of people around the world are looking for natural ways to improve their health and increase their hemoglobin count in red blood cells. Hopefully the information that you learned in this video can help you do just that. With that said, keep in mind that we are not doctors and this video should not be taken as medical advice. Again, this video is for informational purposes only. But hopefully you learned a thing or two and hopefully you're now one step closer to improving your overall health and thus improving the overall quality of your life. If so, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you want to learn even more about this topic, we do have a full guide on our website. I'll drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.